Mm-hmm. FM, WFCF, Flagler College Radio, and staugustine.com. Welcome to Airborne. You're Airborne with Matt Jeffs right here, and we have a special guest, as always, bringing you interesting people from your world so you can stay dialed into your community and the folks who make it tick. This lady with the tiara and the sash on is Jessica Minch. Welcome, Jessica. How are you? Nice to meet you. Likewise, I don't always get a beauty beauty pageant winner here on our show on Airborne, and welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Oh, it's my pleasure. Now, you're uh, someone who lives right here in St. Augustine. Tell us a little bit about your background right here. I do. Well, I actually grew up in Jacksonville. Uh, went to Flagler College, so mm-hmm. that's what brought me down to St. Augustine initially. And um, through Flagler College, I had an opportunity to move to Texas, moved to Texas for a year, but left my heart in Florida. So I came back and won the title of Miss Florida. Amazing. Um, now, you are also uh, involved with a storied, I'll say, SIF program at Flagler College. Would you tell our viewers a little bit about SIF and what you achieved while you were there? Yeah, that's right. Um, I was actually co-president of the Flagler College Students and Free Enterprise team for two years. Mm -hmm. And SIFE is an international organization with um, teams at about 900 colleges around the world. And we compete in various levels of competition, starting regionally, moving up to national competition, and then international. And the competition is basically a presentation of your year-long projects, ranging from business ethics to sustainability of a business to financial literacy, market economics, all Mm business-oriented. So it's a great networking opportunity. Right. And um, when I was on the Flagler College team, we won the national contest in Kansas City, Missouri, which allowed us to go compete internationally in Barcelona, Spain. Awesome experience, awesome trip, and no other place in my life will I imagine that I'll be able to interact with students my age from 42 different countries. Leaders in industry or future leaders, but also present leaders in industry watch what's going on with SIF internationally, don't they? It's where they can pluck some of the best minds in business. Absolutely. It's a huge tool for recruiters and some of SIF's biggest sponsors are companies like Walmart, Office Depot, uh, lots of Fortune 500 companies. And in fact, to be a judge at the national level, you have to be a president or CEO or hold a high-end title to just be a judge. Wow. And um, my personal experience, I was recruited right off the stage from a Final Four presentation, and that's how I got to Dallas. And I actually, when I was there, worked for the largest manufacturer of trash bags in the country. Goodness gracious. <laughs> Not too glamorous, but no. it was a good opportunity. <laughs> Fantastic. You won Miss Florida U.S. Now, Miss Florida U.S., can you tell us the difference uh, of the designations, if you yeah. will. Oftentimes there's confusion in the pageant world. There's Miss USA, which is the system owned by Donald Trump, mm-hmm. and then the traditional Miss America. Mm-hmm. And my system has the title Miss United States, mm-hmm. just like out of the movie Miss Congeniality. And it's a newer title, and I'm actually the first girl to hold the Miss Florida United States title. Congratulations. Wow, that's astonishing. I'll bet that was nerve-wracking. Tell us a little bit about uh, the experience of preparing for this sort of thing, Uh, the interviewing, the all eyes on you, and your special talents. You've got some special talents, don't you? Well, the most nerve-wracking part for me is the interview, so that's where I try to do most of my preparation. Um, That's studying up on current events, because they can ask you anything from something that's in the news, to a political question, to something off of my fact sheet and my platform. The grounds are open, so that's why I try to be the most prepared for. But you're never fully prepared for something like that. Right. And on stage is the fun part for me. I love being in the spotlight. I'm a different person on stage, so for me the gown, the swimsuit, and the onstage question are a little bit more relaxed. But you're also very talented. You're not. You're a ballet dancer, aren't yes. you? Tell us about that. I your am. background. I've been dancing most of my life, mm-hmm. and the reason I got into pageants was because I wanted another outlet to perform. So I thought pageantry would be a fun way to be on stage, and I love dressing up. So it was a seemed like a perfect fit. And my first pageants that I competed in were in the Miss America system, mm-hmm. and one of their criteria is the talent portion. However, I've aged out, so I don't, um, the 
system I compete in now, we don't require talent. So it's a little bit relief off my shoulders, but I still do take ballet classes weekly. But the system that you are in now requires platform, and you've developed a platform that I thought was very intriguing and also uh, just tell us about it. Yeah. Go green. Tell the, us about that. Yeah, that's my platform. I compete in the Florida United States pageant system, also known as the pageant with a purpose. So my chosen platform or issue that I'm promoting through my year of service is Go Green US. Mm -hmm. And it's just something I've always been passionate about um, back from when I was really young. I don't know what sparked it, but I've always been a tree hugger and promote recycling. So one of the biggest things I'm doing this year is creating a blog where I basically research and compile tips and facts and ideas to educate others and spread awareness on how easy it is and how small of a change you can do that can have such a big impact. So we don't have to go walking around wearing burlap bags to do something good for the planet. Mm -hmm. There's 300 plus million of us and if we all do little things we can have big impact? Exactly. If each one of us does one thing that's 300 million changes already have been made. It's multiplied that way. What are some of little things that perhaps our viewers could they're sitting there in front of their computer right now what are a few things they might be able to do just to spark yeah, their interest to, some simple things as easy as carpooling to work or riding your bike to work mm -hmm. um, changing your light bulb to compact fluorescent light bulb mm -hmm. or doing one less load of dishes a week using cold water when you run your laundry um, small things like that and of course recycling using reusable grocery bags when you go shopping. Very small changes, but huge impact. If people would like to learn more about what you do at Dad Will Do It at Go Green US or about you personally, what are some contact links that they can find out more? Okay, well, dadldoit.com is the one for Dad Will Do It. My blog, which I encourage everyone to check out, uh, has a lot of tips and it goes back all the way through the summer. I try to update weekly, monthly and that is www.gogreenus.blogspot.com and my personal website is www.missfl.us missflorida.us Jessica Minch, Miss Florida US and Flagler alumna Welcome and thank you again for coming to uh, Airborne. I hope as these things develop, we can have you back and talk more about so Go too. Green US and thank your career you. and all of that. We really appreciate having you. Thank you very much. It's been our pleasure. You've been Airborne with Matt Jeffs on 88.5 FM, WFCF, Flagler College Radio, and staynaugustine.com. We bring you interesting people from your world so you can stay dialed into your community and the folks who make it tick. See you next time.